Now it's time for our weekly energy update with Dan McTeague, Senior Petroleum Analyst at GasWizard.ca. Take it away, Dan. Well, thanks for that, Nima. And uh, what a wild ride this has been this week as far as uh, energy prices are concerned. Uh, true to uh, form, uh, the cut of 2 million barrels a day, which probably is a little bit less than that by OPEC, has uh, really roiled markets. And of course, politicians south of the border in the United States who are still scratching their heads trying to figure out why they should get mad at Saudi Arabia and uh, OPEC when in fact they have no one to blame but themselves uh, for killing uh, the Keystone pipeline and not having to dip into their strategic petroleum reserve. But of course, I digress. Uh, the reality is that uh, gas prices and diesel prices seem to be moving oddly in very uh, unusual directions. In the case of gasoline, starting with British Columbia, we saw a dramatic decrease of about 45 cents a litre. Uh, probably the biggest, most historical drop in one day happened earlier this week uh, when gas fell 35 cents a litre. In fact, that was yesterday, Thursday. Uh, that's mostly due to the fact that the problem in the Pacific Northwest, which uh, really is the trendsetter as far as gas prices for the lower mainland in BC, uh, suddenly saw an influx of uh, fuel from uh, as far away as Italy, if you can believe it. Uh, and the refineries that had run into some trouble all along the US West Coast seemed to have uh, picked up their speed, got back into the swing of things and uh, thankfully brought prices down to a more normal and get used to it Vancouver dollar 95. So that's the kind of outlook I think we have for gasoline. And of course, with uh, higher prices in the in the, Marita in the prairies, uh, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and uh, Manitoba in the 185 range, uh, with of course, uh, Alberta being a bit less because of uh, the uh, decrease, or at least the uh, part of the uh, 13 cent uh, uh, ta provincial tax removed. I think they're only, uh, they have about a nine cent discount. That explains why, gas prices are a little cheaper there. We're still seeing huge retail margins being paid uh, or by consumers to gas stations that are making anywhere from 15 to 18 cents a liter. I expect that those prices should come down about eight to 10 cents a liter uh, over the course of the week. For Ontario, uh, you've been 162 all the way up to 167, tomorrow 165. Look for that to continue throughout the week. Uh, same for Quebec in the uh, high 170s, low 180s, Montreal and uh, Quebec City. Maritimes, a bit of a mixed bag uh, there, of course, uh, with Newfoundland leading the charge, uh, you know, into the dollar uh, eighty five, dollar ninety range, uh, while Nova Scotia uh, PEI at one eighty five, Nova Scotia at one seventy, one sixty eight, one sixty nine, and New Brunswick about the same, uh, tend to be a little bit cheaper only because of the uh, differentials in taxes. The big story though is diesel, and uh, it's now reaching records right across Canada. And that's uh, not just a reflection of what's happening in Europe, the fact that the uh, Royal Dutch Shell, if you will, uh, their refinery, the largest one in Europe, Pernus, uh, actually uh, malfunctioned on Thursday. Uh, that sent uh, diesel futures uh, uh, soaring. Uh, it looks like we're gonna continue to see record prices broken. I wouldn't be surprised to see at some point, uh, and not to be sensational, diesel prices hitting $3 a litre. Uh, so a great time for the federal government to increase carbon taxes come April 1st and contemplate other wonderful creative ways to stifle diesel, which of course isn't just used for uh, transportation for trucks, for rail, but it's also in the same families, heating oil, furnace oil, stove oil, and of course, uh, uh, fuel, uh, jet fuel, kerosene. All of these things mean that uh, diesel is an extremely important commodity. It's likely to go up on average of about five to 10 cents a liter after Saturday, I'm looking uh, Saturday uh, in places like Ontario, diesel to go up 13 cents a liter. Look for a lot of stations to offer it for as high as 240 a liter in the Maritimes, New, uh, Newfoundland, uh, 257 a liter today. Look for that to go to about 265. So we're heading towards two, three dollars a liter for diesel. That has uh, enormous implications for inflation and for policymakers. Uh, and of course, the Bank of Canada continues to want to wrestle. Uh, inflation to the ground, to use old expression used by a previous Trudeau. The other concern that has to be uh, expressed is the weakness in the Canadian dollar. And that's going to continue to be a problem, not because other currencies are weak against the U.S. greenback, but because Canada is not selling enough, potent, doesn't have the potential to sell more of what the world desperately wants, more of our oil and gas. Unfortunately, for three of the four parties in the House of Commons, that's no big deal, but it will be with the looming recession coming in Canada in the first and second quarter of this year. On that happy news and happy score, gas up today, 
you'll want to do that uh, because later in the week, it'll be just that much more expensive. And next week, a little bit more of an update here for you. Thanks for having me and uh, back to you, Nima. All right, thanks for that, Dan. Again, that was Dan McTeague, Senior Petroleum Analyst at GasWizard.ca. He's also the President of Canadians for Affordable Energy. All right, coming up after the break, we'll be having our weekly crypto and digital asset update with Catherine Murray. So stay tuned, Forum Daily will be back. <laughs>